The movie begins one week before Halloween. Halloween is a festival when children dress up differently, in which they wear strange clothes and wear masks on their faces. Anyway, now we see a child whose name is Peter. He goes to school where we find out that he has no friends. On the contrary, some children bother him and he is always lost in himself. The poor man spends his time alone. When he comes home, he stays there quietly. He never goes out. Later we were shown his mom and dad, whose habit we could understand that they are very worried mom and dad, who was always worried about Peter's safety. So that's why she doesn't even let him go out of the house. She also forbids Peter from making friends here. Now one night when Peter started sleeping, he heard a sound from behind the wall of the room. As if someone was knocking on the wall from the other side. He came near the window and started looking outside. So he was very scared. So he quickly ran to his mom and dad. His mom brought him back to the room. And now when he put his ear to the wall and heard, there was no sound coming from the front. To which she says to Peter, this will take care of you and nothing else. Don't think so much about it and go to sleep. The next day when Peter went to school, his new teacher came today. When she sees Peter, she feels that he is sitting scared. So she tries to get along with him. Because apparently she was a teacher who could take care of her students. Now at night when Peter was eating with his mom and dad, he says that Halloween is coming. So I also want to go out. And I want to play a trick or treat game. Because the rest of the kids will also go there. Now listening to this, his mom clearly refuses that no, you will not go anywhere. To which her dad starts telling about an incident. That when Peter was not even born, a girl from this town went out to play a trick or treat game on Halloween night. But suddenly she went missing. And that's why we are scared of that incident. This is the reason you are not allowed to go anywhere outside. After hearing all this, Peter comes to his room to sleep. Where it was shown that someone was pushing the wall of the room from the other side. Means pushing. Because the wall was coming out from there. With which Peter started hearing the voice of a girl from there. Who was calling her name again and again. Peter, Peter, come here. Listen to me. Need help. After hearing this, he gets very scared. And started screaming. After hearing his voice, Peter's dad came there. When he checks the walls, everything was normal. No noise was coming. And tonight again, she makes Peter understand and make him sleep. Although Peter was still very scared. The next day, his dad puts poison in front of all the walls to kill the rats. And started telling Peter that maybe there are rats on the other side of the walls. Who are making noise. If you die of poison, then you will not hear a sound. That's why my child, now you don't need to be afraid. The next day when Peter was in school, his new teacher was getting his children to draw. Peter makes a drawing of his room here. He made a wall like a house. And wrote on it, help me. That is, help me. He also made a child who was himself. So now by giving him this drawing, the teacher becomes very worried. Why is he asking for help? That's why she went to Peter's house the next day. So that she can know that everything is fine. Where the teacher met Peter's mom. Who did not like the teacher coming home. She does not talk to him nicely. She says that Peter is a little strange child. He keeps thinking anything. And then makes his drawing. So in this regard, don't worry. And don't come home at all. Then his mother came to Peter in anger. And while showing the drawing, she started asking, what is this? Why did you write help me? After all, who were you asking for help? And why? On which Peter says quickly, mom, he is asking for help, not me. Now who was she? We will soon find out about this. Here his mother does not pay much attention to this. And tells him, don't think useless. Your reverse thoughts will put us in trouble. Saying which she left from here. When Peter was trying to sleep. Then a girl's voice came from behind the wall. To which Peter says that I know. You are not real. Just my thought. On this, the girl replies that no. I am real. But I have no special purpose. I just want to be friends with them. But if you want me to go from here. Then I will go. On which Peter says not to go. And stops him. Because he had no friend. And this girl was talking to him about friendship. The next day when Peter was in school. This girl was making Halloween drawings on a pumpkin. Peter had also done a very good and clean drawing on his pumpkin. Seeing which he becomes very happy. But then a naughty boy came there. And to trouble Peter. He breaks his pumpkin by kicking. Because of which he became very sad. When he comes home. He lies on his bed at night and starts crying. Where the girl comforts him. She said. Don't worry. This happened to me once. So don't cry and take your revenge. This thing affected Peter. The next day after going to school. He pushes the naughty boy down the stairs. And because he had fallen from a very high ladder. So because of this. His leg broke. When his parents came home. When they found out about Peter's behavior. So he got very upset. Thinking that there is so much anger in it. But his dad didn't like this behavior. So to punish him. He takes Peter to the basement and locks him there. When his dad went away. 
so he sees a big pit there, which was currently closed with a net, but there was a bear inside it. The next day when Peter's teacher was at home, so the principal of the school came to meet him, who tells the teacher that you shouldn't have gone to his house like this. He felt very bad. On this, the teacher replies that I was worried about Peter. That's why I went, and I felt very strange in his mouth. Upon hearing this, the principal remarks, if you are concerned about him, then we will keep him here till school. Don't go to his house. After his departure, the teacher checks all the children's tests, and because he was already worried about Peter, on the pretext of making friends, she goes to his house, where he was locked in the basement. But the teacher didn't know this. Here his mom and dad talk to the teacher, and we can notice his dad's very strange behavior. He was walking around with a hammer in his hand. He had a wound on his arm, from which a lot of blood was coming out. When he wakes up, he tells that I was fixing things. I was doing repair work. Only then this wound was injured. The strange thing was that he had also released Peter's school. Now at night, mom took Peter out of the basement. She feeds him well and sends him to sleep. As soon as he left, as soon as he was alone, Peter came to the wall. And he starts to scream. Then the girl came immediately and started talking to him. She says, I am also worried about you, Peter. So listen to me carefully. Take care of mom and dad. Because the way they look, they are not like that. They make it look like they love you. They are worried, but this is a lie. With whom she reveals the secret here. That I am no one else, but your sister. Who has been imprisoned here for years. And I have been waiting since then. When you grow up a little, you will remove the clock on the wall. And you will open the secret door and take me out. After which I will be free. Now Peter was very surprised to hear her. But he did not believe these things. That's why he tells her. That if you are real, then I want to see you. On which the girl replies that you will not be able to see. You will be afraid. Because I have been here for years. I have started to look very strange. Now when Peter talked about not being afraid. Now the girl says, look at the small hole in the wall. Now when Peter saw the hole. Then he looks at the girl's big eye. Which was really drowning. Seeing this, he also gets scared. Now the girl says that my brother. Our mom and dad are very bad. They are so cruel that they imprisoned me here. And because you are their child. So they will marry you like this. So take care of yourself. Now it is obvious that after hearing all this. Peter was very scared. He did not know that she was my sister or lying. Because of this unknown power and unknown voice. I was just worried. That's why she started dreaming of her mom and dad being bad. Like she is scaring him. She wants to hurt him. But every time when Peter used to wake up in fear. Then his mom used to come and take care of him and always used to explain to him. The next day when he was lying in his room, then the girl talks to him. She says that mom and dad have some work from you, and when you will not be of any use to them, then they will also pick you up or imprison you, or kill and bury. And if you do not believe, then go to the courtyard and dig the ground and see for yourself. Now when Peter dug the ground and saw, then he found someone's skeleton, in which the girl tells Peter, that years ago a girl came to our house on Halloween night, for a trick or treat game. I should have requested her assistance. But mom and dad caught her and killed her. So that she does not go out and tell everyone. What kind of parents they are. And henceforth. I also do not ask anyone for help. So that we can understand. Where did the missing girl go? Now because of all these things. Peter calls his teacher for help. Because he was already scared of his own mom and dad. But suddenly from the other side. She picks up his face. And refuses to call the teacher. And starts getting angry at him. When she came to the room. She also found out about the hole on the wall. She was very scared. She said in fear. What did that girl say to Peter? It was beyond understanding. If this girl was trapped by mom and dad behind the wall. Then why would Peter's mom be so scared of him? Anyway, she was nervous. At night, the girl talks to Peter. She started saying that I have heard mom and dad talking. They have decided that they will also kill you. So you have to do something soon. So that such mom and dad leave your life. After a while, Peter was sitting at the table. He was eating with his mom and dad, where his dad suddenly felt strange. The taste of the soup also seemed strange to him. He even notices that Peter is not eating anything. So he gets scared and asks him, what did you do? To which he replies, nothing much. You just hurt my sister. So I just took revenge. Hearing this, his dad was very shocked because he understood the whole matter. And immediately he starts vomiting blood. Actually, Peter had poisoned mom and dad's food because of which his dad died on the same occasion. Here his mom and dad picked up the knife and started coming towards Peter. Now the surprising thing here was that Peter's mom did not kill him. In fact, she picked up the knife to save him because now Peter had removed the watch on the girl's voice and he had also opened the secret door because of which the girl who had been innocent for so long 
She was talking innocently, because she is not good like her. She suddenly starts laughing and speaking in a monster-like voice. She came out immediately, who really looked like a very ugly monster, because of which Peter got scared. He immediately runs into his room. Now the coincidence here is that, that naughty boy comes here with his three friends, to take revenge on Peter. But there was already a monster in the house. She cleverly traps all of them, and attacks them, and kills them mercilessly. She had torn one body, so she had removed one from the whole body. She had killed one, she had broken his bones and locked him in the closet. She had picked up one and hit him, which is very painful. Peter was hiding in his room. He was trying to kill them all. After killing them all mercilessly, the girl starts screaming on the walls and roofs, because of which she was looking more and more terrible. Now when the teacher found out about Peter, she became very worried, and was coming to his house to help him. Now when Peter was hiding under the bed, there was a monster sitting on the bed, who started telling her story here. So actually this monster girl was Peter's real sister. She was the first daughter of her parents, but she was born deformed, because of which she was looking like a monster. This is the reason why her parents kept her in the pit, to conceal her from the rest of the world, because they knew, because of being deformed, she can be dangerous and angry, who can kill people, so it is dangerous for her to stay outside, so they had to take this decision, they also killed the girl, who had come to trick or treat years ago, so that she would go out and tell everyone about this monster girl, and the hair we saw in the pit, that was her, but before today she was locked up here, and she learned to walk on the walls, made herself strong, made a plan, that I will trap Peter in my words, and make him do everything. He will kill mom and dad, after which I will be free, which had happened in the end, which means that this deformed monster girl, from the beginning there are murderous things, which she created within herself. She was not a soul, she was a human, after which the teacher came here, hearing her voice, from behind the walls. Then the teacher came there, and broke the wall and took her out, but then the monster girl came here, and attacked both of them. She threw Peter in the pit, and started fighting with the teacher. But Peter is smart here. He grabbed her long hair, and started trying to come up. Then with the help of his teacher, he threw her back in the pit. That girl actually hates Peter, although he is her brother. The reason for hating him was that, Peter was good in every way. But that girl looked like a monster. She was yearning for the love of her parents, which Peter was getting instead of her, because she was the witness of everything. She could hear everything, which used to hurt her a lot. This is the reason that her mom and dad, was always worried about Peter because she knew that we have a big secret, hidden in our own house. The girl who came here, Peter's sister killed her, so that's why mom and dad, buried her here, so that no one knows about this. After doing this, they lock their deformed girl, in the basement pit, so that she doesn't harm Peter. After the pit is closed, she says to Peter, I won't leave you, my mission is incomplete, I will finish you. After hearing this, Peter got scared, and we could see his evil sister. This is what Peter used to feel, and he used to think, that she can come to finish him, and because he was left alone, the teacher used to adopt him. The story of this movie ends here. Thank you.